But if you guys want to check that out, and I'm working on that over on my channel. And I will eventually do an in-depth analytical review of it as well, just like I did the first two. And, and then I will have fulfilled a promise that I made to all of you a long fucking time ago when I said I will do the entire trilogy. I said I was going to do the entire trilogy before I even... Ew. Ew. I said, uh, but I said I would do the entire trilogy before I even, um... I, I hear you. Where, where are you, asshole? Before I even switched over to the Doom Dog, I said, "This is the product I want to do." Because I was looking online for reviews. Of the uh, Untold Legends series, right? And I couldn't find anything, so I was like, "Fine, I'll be the one to chronicle these video game, th th this trilogy of RPGs forever." I'll be the one to tell you in depth all about them because nobody else has and I know how to and I'm nostalgic for the games. They're not the best. He thought he was being sneaky on you. Yep. They're not the... Uh, They're not the best um, hack and slash dungeon crawlers I've ever played, but um, they're decent enough for what they are. Like if you want, if you just want a dungeon crawler to waste a little bit of time with and have some fun with, they're good for that. I don't regret going back and playing them. You know, sometimes you go back and play an old game yet. You're feeling nostalgic for it, and, you don't, and it like turns out not as good as you remember it. Yep, that's happened to me before. <laughs> yeah, that happened to me when I went back and played the uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day uh, multiplayer. It's like this is nowhere near as good as I remember it being. Oh, for the Xbox. Well, Conquer's Bad Fur Day was originally a Nintendo. 64 game. Oh, I thought you were talking about the all, the online uh, shit they added in the Xbox version. I forgot they added online in the Xbox yeah. version. I've never played the Xbox version. I, I know what you mean. <laughs> I know what you mean about the the multiplayer in the original because look, I used to play the shit out of the multiplayer in Conquer's Bad Fur Day, and then it's like weird. Like I mean, I used to we used to play Heist all the time, but we try to play it now, and it's so like awkward to control. And yeah, it's it's really weird. Like, all your guns, like, shoot upward. And you're trying to shoot people. It's, like, really bizarre. I hear you. Where are you, ass munch?
Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Centrifuge and gyros are both 100% and stabilized. Now get out of there and focus on the engine. I don't know how much time we have left. Oh, I died. Fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. I came out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't fast enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go! Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. Okay. That was close. Boy, the sound design in this game is so fucking good. Like, it, it goes almost completely silent and very muffled because you have just a little bit of oxygen for audio in your uh, suit when you're in the zero gravity sections. It's so good. Alright, let's go this way. And let's go get attacked by a tentacle because I think that's what's going to happen next. There we go. Let's save. Oh, I had other things I wanted to talk about, and I don't remember what they were. Oh, did you hear about the uh, night the the what the night at the woods developer? Yep. Yep. I don't think so. Oh yeah, there's there's your tentacle. So the 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 nine at the woods developer. I don't. I forget his name. Uh. Zoe Quinn, you know who that is, right? Yeah. Zoe Quinn accused him of rape. And, of course, he's a feminist. So, you know, Reese at the fucking counter, right? X number of days without a feminist being accused of rape. Yeah, reset that counter. Let's reset. Like, seriously, the phrase, I am a feminist, coming out of the mouth of a guy, should, like, initiate f flight or fight in women. I swear to God. But, yeah, um, consider the source when you, you take into consideration this accusation, though, because Zoe Quinn is... I mean, we, we we know she's a lying, manipulative sack of shit. We know this. Just more drama. Cause she was the she was the one that 
her boyfriend, uh, her ex-boyfriend. Oh, fuck me! Oh, hey, buddy. Her ex-boyfriend posted a fucking novel worth of material. Talking about how he, she lied to him. She manipulated him. She treated him like shit. And she cheated on him with five different guys. Hi, Kendra. That's just her being her. Nice to see you're alive and well, Hammond. I barricaded myself in the computer core. I can hear them moving outside, but I don't think they know I'm in here. I can log into everything from here. I hacked the route and found some reports from the colony. Even before they cracked the planet, the colonists were experiencing widespread dementia. It seems to be related to some artifact they found on the planet. Something called the Marker. I'll keep looking. I've got your location, and I'm going to unlock the door to fuel storage. You can get to the engine chamber from there. That reminds me, I should talk about the actual story to... the backstory to this game. Um, but, um... She... One of those guys was her boss, who was married at the time. And another one of those guys was a writer for, I th think, Kotaku. It was one of the uh, social justice warrior video game quote unquote news sites. And I think it was Kotaku. But it could have been Polygon since they're basically carbon copies of each other anyway. Seriously, fuck both. Yeah, a lot of them are alike in a lot of ways. Yeah, I, I don't. Uh, and then people put two and two together and figured out that she was probably sleeping with guys to try to further her career. And one of them was a journalist, of course, who wrote good, positive pieces on her game. And that kickstarted a conversation about... Ethics uh, in video game journalism, other known as Gamergate. So she was at the center of that, and Did I even go the right way? Good question. Nope. So, she... was at the center, which, you know, of course means she has a bunch of white knight social justice warrior soy boys that will defend her no matter what absurdly ridiculous thing she ever says. So, y you know, take the... Uh, Accusation with a big old heaping helping of fucking salt because, uh, like I said, she's a lying, manipulative sack of shit. And you shouldn't trust her any further than you can spit into a goddamn hurricane.
But, uh, yeah, reset the fucking counter. And I haven't even read the accusation. Like, I have no interest in reading the accusation because it's probably bullshit. I mean, yeah, knowing her, I mean, it's safe to assume that. I have no clue where the fuck I'm supposed to be going. I know I'm about to run out of air. Where the fuck am I supposed to be going? God damn it. What's your light thing tell you? I can't fucking tell. Am I supposed to be on here? Did I finally find it? I finally found it. Jesus, it's noisy in here. More growth. Oh, I watched an interview with one of the developers, and they actually talk about that sound effect they use. Yeah. <laughs> like how they recorded it and whatnot, and like, that was pretty cool. It's a cool video to watch. Yeah. They they openly admit that they were big time inspired by Resident Evil 4. Like they said, Resident Evil 4 came out and they went, we want to do that. Yeah, pretty much. If, it was, if RE4 wasn't like that, then we would have a System Shock 3. It's kind of weird to think about. Because EA owned the license back then. Mm-hmm. This was back when EA was willing to take risks, which they fucking aren't now. Nowadays, I don't think they would let the team make a new IP, kind of like Dead Space. Now they gotta add microtransactions and all these predatory fucking tactics, like, oh my god. They can't, yeah. They, they don't know how to say no to that shit. Yeah. I mean, Dead Space 3 is a like, really good example of that. Yeah. Kind of killed the franchise. Yep. Which is a shame, because we, we could use a new Dead Space. Like, bring us back a, to, to, into this world of survival horror. It's a fascinating... I mean, the, like, people want these horror games. I mean, like, RE2 Remake sold a shit ton and has glowing reviews. I mean, there's a market for horror games. I mean... If they did make a Dead Space game, it would like sell like freaking hotcakes, like a proper Dead Space anyway. Yeah, I, I was gonna talk about the backstory of this series. Okay, so 
this takes place in the far future where we've run low on minerals on Earth, so we started traveling the stars and going to other planets and getting minerals there. And they have these ships called Planet Crackers that basically bust up planets and just take all the minerals from them. And the U.S. Ishimura is one of the oldest ones, or the oldest one, I don't remember which, of the Planet Crackers. And they crack this planet that we're floating around. It's the cause of all the debris and shit flying around outside the ship. And then all hell breaks loose on the ship. That There is a church called the Church of Eudatology that uh, bears a lot of resemblance to Scientology. sounds similar. Yep. And uh, how it operates and shit like that. And... They, uh, they're the biggest religion in the universe, and they don't fear death. So, uh, uh, like, suicide is like nothing to them because they believe that death is will cause them to transform and enter a new light, a new life, or something along those lines. So it's explained a lot more in Dead Space Two, but they. F there's a secret, uh, there's an object called the Marker that they believe is central to them transforming and their religion and stuff like that. Because I remember that in Dead Space 2. That was mentioned a lot. And that was a big part of Dead Space 2. Yeah, you, you actually visit one of their churches in Dead Space 2. Yeah, that was, that was a cool level. Let's see what's in here. Credits. But, yeah, uh, there's actually a fair amount of depth. To the universe and the world building spread across the games and movies and comic. That if you're into interesting lore and world building, and it's uh, absolutely worth your time. Like uh, Dead Space has a lot of interesting backstory and stuff like that. That it's worth your time to explore. This is a property that that you could tell was very much a labor of love for those involved. Oh yeah, definitely. It's always nice when a story has a, like the extra lore that helps enhance the world and whatnot. Yeah, and it goes there's a long way. there is plenty of that in Dead Space. There's a lot of lore and world building in this game. I'm surprised we haven't finished one chapter yet. Yeah, this is a, this is a long one.
Die. All of you. Oh no. Oh, these guys are a pain in the ass. Do you remember these guys? Yeah. Oh God. These big guys that when you op that, that when you kill them, their stomach opens up and a million little guys crawl out. It's a pain in the ass. Yep. What all do I have uh, ammo for? Yeah, I still got a lot of, uh, I'm, I, I need to refill my line rack ammo, so I'm not going to use that for a while, but, give me another node, and I will, uh, be able to finish, up stasis with that node. So whenever I get to another workbench, I'll be able to get the last stasis upgrade. It's wanting me to go there. I want to finish exploring this area first. Make sure I'm not missing any items. Uh, as a general rule, though, Dead Space very much wears its inspiration on its sleeve. And there's one lesson it could learn from other horror out, horror movies and the like, and that is uh, subtlety. Dead Space does not do subtlety. Nope. At all. <laughs> like, it's period. It's <laughs> not afraid to be blunt. Yeah. It can get to the point where uh, scares and stuff like that are kind of predictable, so you will just, um... Get off me, ass douche. Holy fuck. This game is intense. Okay, let's use uh, another healing. God damn, that was a lot of enemies. Damn. Yeah. Got an endurance test. I love the enemy design. That, like they're they're disgusting. They're grotesque. It's, it's good. Done. It's good body horror. Like heavy yeah. inspiration from. Um, Cronenberg and what the, have you. Like the thing. Yeah. Heavy inspiration from the thing. <laughs> 